I'm running late already, please. I can't spend another 10 minutes. Oh, sweetheart, I can't have you walk on an empty stomach. Come on, please. Lucy! Yes, Auntie! Please, come, come, come and help me with the kids while I get Daddy's breakfast ready. Oh, come on. Okay. I mean, I've told you, stop bothering yourself. I can manage. No, 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 please. I insist. I beg you. Come. Come. What? Do you want me to help you with your time? Yeah. I want you to know that you are a special blessing which my heart will never forget. I love and appreciate that. I love you too, darling. I, I really do feel flattered. It's okay. Well, the breakfast. I have to get it. Lucy, did you not hear me? to intimate you on the new dispensation from our headquarters. They have asked me to tell you people the bad news and the good news. The bad news is that uh, the major talk with IMB and Standard Alliance has failed. 
was discovered that it is not in our own best interest. The IMB and the Standard Alliance want us to beg for it. Anyway, the good news, the good news is that Chief Mayor Ford, you know him, Chief Mayor Ford, the Commissioner for Agriculture in the state, has indicated interest in going into partnership with our bank. And he has promised to give 12 billion naira as soon as the paperwork are through. Wow! This is a great breakthrough! Oh my god! This is the exact amount we need to meet the 25 billion naira recapitalization. God, I thank you. At last, we all are not going to be thrown into the labor market after all. Come on! So, you know what now? I want you all to. Get back to your office. Definitely. Honor every withdrawal. Huh? We can't even give loans now. Wow! <laughs> Thank you, eh? Thank you. Get back to your offices, I beg, I beg. Oh my god. This is a cause for celebration, my dear. Brother Richie, Brother Richie, um, I want to know if you're going to be me so that I can know if you're going to Hey, 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 hey! Right. Don't, Don't you, Brother What do you think you're doing? Don't you ever brother me. Do you understand? Now, how is this supposed to be your business? Whether I'm going straight to the company or not? Uh, what do you intend to write next time or report next time? Richie, it's not like that now, eh? It's not the way you're taking it. Anyway, I just want to follow you so that we can go there at the To do what? This is the same company you reported to that that is owing you for three months. And now you're talking about going to the company. To do what? What do you mean to do what? It is my daddy's company and daddy told me to go there, so don't ask me to do And I am the manager. Whatever thing I say is binding. Dad asked me to attach you to the administrative department as a trainee and pay you for your upkeep. Now listen, the company does not longer need a trainee or a temporary staff. Therefore, the company can no longer accommodate you. Unless Dad wants me to keep you as a spy. Are you stopping me from going to work? Exactly. You've just said that. Now get that into your head that the company does no longer need you there. Do you understand? You are judged by what you say and what you do and the kind of friends that you keep. Huh? Now listen, only good girls become ladies and only good boys become gentlemen. Others just pretend to be what they are not. Okay? Don't forget that. Now good children are? Dirty or good friends. Good. Brilliant. I think at least you still remember. <laughs> now you're ready to go to bed. You should be ready by now. Lucy! Oh, come and take the kids upstairs and prepare them for bed. Give them a bath and prepare them for bed. Okay, yeah, let's go. I'll see you soon. All right. the deliberations and the tussles the merger failed. Mm -hmm. Chief Merford has agreed to pump in the sum of 12 billion naira. Oh my god. 12 billion? Honestly. Chief Merford? But he's a former commissioner. How did... How on earth did he get that kind of money from? I don't know. The only thing I know is that that money is going to do us a lot of good. Congratulations. 
<laughs> I'm so happy to hear this. <sighs> you got me so worried, you know. Always looking at you. So tensed up, so unhappy. That is over now. Look at you. What? Look at the bags that were forming under your eyes. <laughs> oh, that. Yeah. Well, I thank God it's worth it. Honestly. See, honey. It's a relief. I'm beginning to think. It's time we finished our new building. Greg, let's leave that house for now. Please, we just roofed it like two months ago. You need to, you need a break. Let's leave it for now and do other things, please. Oh, we have one to ask. It's okay, it's so okay. much for you. Stop talking about the house. <clears throat> so, I, what's it going to be like? months now I have been waiting patiently for you to submit the account for the year ended and up to this moment nothing nothing from you now I want you to listen to me I'm not very comfortable with the way you are running this company and if by tomorrow night I do not get a detailed account to date then I shall be forced to change my mind about you. Oh, sir, I, I, Don't you tell them but me. Come here. Don't you walk away from me when I'm talking to you. But you said it all, Dad. I have not said it all. I will tell you. All right. Sorry, sir. Now get out. just putting much pressure on me but I've asked him to give me some time. Carola, are you sure you're making the right decision? Because to me, I think that rate is okay. December is just five months away. Oh, my dear, you don't know what is behind for me for the next three months. I just want you to finalize with Greg. Or do you just want us to make the trip? No, no, no. no. Greg is interested now. Don't worry, when he comes back this night, I'm going to remind him, okay? You know, they are trying to do this recapitalization thing at the, you know, in the hmm. banking sector. I know, and it's so busy, Come extremely on. busy. Don't let this spoil our fun. <laughs> I no, know. I will work without play. Makes Jack a dog boy. <laughs> in fact, makes Jane a dog girl. <laughs> Besides, I don't want to miss this nothing or carnival for anything. Are you telling me? And I wouldn't like to disappoint. The sponsor that sent me that special. You can't afford to do that. Uh -huh. What about uh, Chief Tumba's traditional shift and scene? Hmm. What about it? What that, is another, about it? that is another chapter. I have no idea. What do you think? Less is out of it, of course. No, not less. He's wearing less. That's not in vogue now. Hello, darling. Stacy. Is everything all right? Your brother didn't tell me you were coming from school today. I didn't tell him that we had a small break and I decided I don't see you all. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, Caroline, mm -hmm. this is my sister-in-law. That's my friend. Caroline. Good evening. Good evening. You're welcome. I was trying to figure out if this. Oh, yes. The resemblance. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Yes. So, the other situation right now. So, as I was saying, I have a cat dog. I'll go and get her. Okay, wait. I called this meeting because I believe it's very, very important. John, when you called the family and you told us that you would like to set up your own uh, company away from the family business, we were all very proud of you. And uh, we are delighted that your business is growing from strength to strength. 
for the family business which you will give to your brother Richard has suffered a terrible loss oh yes things are so bad and uh, Jenny here can be a witness to the fact that the staff have not been paid for the last three months and every attempt to get the statement of account of the year ended from Richard has yielded nothing. John, I want you to be fully involved in this establishment. Uh, uh, Daddy, with due respect, I, I know how painful this may be, but... Daddy, I think you're taking it too far. Let's look for a much more subtle way to settle this issue. Resolve it, please, Daddy. <laughs> oh, John, you don't get the point, do you? I didn't call this meeting so that we can discuss the, the issue. No. My mind is made up that Richard must be removed from the position of manager of Joanne Ventures. I want you to take over the running of the establishment. Richard will hand over everything to you and you will have all the powers you need to revive this company. And should you find a position that you think he might be able to do without doing any harm to the company, you are free to give him. Got this from the accounts manager. Withdrawn six million naira in one month. I would like you to find out. Very, the good the source of this was the accounts manager. <laughs> I want you to find out the, 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 the business that this woman is doing with us and who she is. And if you have any problem, you let me know. Is indeed a sorry state. Misappropriation, that's the word. The company has suffered so much in her finances that uh, I decided to discuss it with you before sending my reports to daddy. But on our priority list is the most fundamental question that we need to ask, how do we pay salaries being old workers? Secondly, Richie, who is this Sapphire Abbey? She appears to be on your payroll. Uh, but there is nothing, no document to ascertain that uh, she has done business with the company. Listen, uh, Richie. You've got to save me from this mess that I got myself into. It's okay. I asked the question, who is Sapphire Abbey? Okay. Um, Sapphire, 
she's one of our suppliers. All right, I included her name in the list of people owing the company. I actually gave them checks for a supply, but, but, but they are yet to do them. Wow, this is serious. Okay, so let's see. How much money do you have in your personal account? What? No, I'm, I'm just asking. How much do you have in your personal account? Richie, you see, we have to pay workers' salaries before this whole thing blows up into a scam. Johnson, stop! Stop! Why do you have to ask me how much I have in my account? I, I don't like the way you're Johnson, talking. Johnson, stop! Stop! You know, we're going to blow up. Why do you ask how we're going to get the Johnson, money? Johnson, stop! Thirty-two million naira just went down the drain like that. Is that what you're trying to tell? Johnson, I said stop. I won't stop. I said stop. stop. How stop. long will I ask me this question? I need an explanation. You, you, you've asked this question yes. several times. Because you have not shut up for once. I will not shut Johnson, up. Johnson, stop. I, I, I said stop. Stop. Johnson, stop. Your best. All stop. I, need stop. I, I said stop. I need an explanation. Stop. Johnson, give me stop. an explanation. What happened to one hundred and thirty-two million naira? Johnson, I said stop. So give me an explanation. You've got to give me some time to think about what to do. You know what, brother? You better do whatever it is you want to do before it's late. Because, I mean, come on. Richie, daddy worked hard for every time. Richie, please don't let daddy down. Don't let Johnson, stop! I said stop! Stop! stop I said stop! Stop! stop, stop, stop. Hello, Why don't you want to stop? Stop. Stop. stop? I said stop! I will stop him! Oh, you want to hit me? Come on, hit me! Wait, you hit me, you don't hit me, you're a coward! I tell you to do it! Hit me! I need to know what you did with 132 million naira. It's not a child's play. You heard me? Come on, hit me! Come on, hit me! No, come, 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 come! Come on, hit me! You're a coward if you don't! You think you can shut me down? I want to know what happened to 132 million naira. Daddy walked out doing every dime! All we owe him is diligence, respect, nothing else! She just got here. She has still stayed. Why not they allow her to stay here for a while? Huh? She came for the weekend. The weekend is over. Let her get back to school and face her studies, okay? That's not mm -hmm. fair. Honestly, it's not. She'll just chill there for a while. I have my reasons now. Huh? Mm. And our friends, Clara and I, she will come along with us. As much as our suitcase can carry, okay? Can we also ride on horses? horses? On horses? Wow! Why would you ride on horses? <laughs> of course you ride on horses. <laughs> and Vanessa in my class. She's very quiet. She won't make trouble. Mm. <laughs> if you don't take her, she'll make trouble with you. <laughs> Listen, girl. Listen, kids. Bahamas is very, very far away from here. Mm -hmm. Okay? And besides, the parents might not want them to travel now. Dad, I want them to come with us, especially Clara. And I'll talk to our parents. Me too. Okay, children. Finish your food. We'll talk about this some other time, okay? Okay. Now, finish your food, please. <coughs> I'm ready. Okay. Oh, Stacy. You're ready to go? Yes. Okay. Take care. Let me drop out. Okay. Well, your food, you didn't even give me Stacy. I'm leaving here. Okay. Bye bye. Stacy, take care of yourself, okay? And say bye bye. Bye. Okay, this. See you next time. All right, darling. Say goodbye to Stacy. Bye. Bye, darling. Okay. And, um, how are you getting on with the restructuring of the company? 
Mm, Daddy, I would say people are gradually adjusting to the new changes we have instituted. Good, good. Uh, the accounts? Uh, yes, uh, for the accounts we have rectified, you know, so much. Just that we have some customers who are still indebted to us, who are still owing us some money. But we are also taking good care of that, Daddy. Hmm. Uh, tell me, who is Sapphire Abbey? Yes, that uh, Sapphire Abbey. Is... You're not Mr. Johnson, are you? Because I know that most definitely you are not the manager of Joanny Ventures. Manager, I'm listening. Well, Daddy, uh, Sapphire Abbey happens to be one of the new suppliers. Uh, Richard gave a check to supply some goods for the company, but she got stupid and could not deliver in time. But uh, we are also taking good care of that, Daddy. Good, good. Now, I hope you have not forgotten what we discussed. Now, I want you to be fast with whatever it is you are doing, because I want that report as quickly as possible so I can ascertain the true financial position of the company. It's okay, Daddy. Good. Well done. Listen, 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 Richard. I, I saw that file. It doesn't make any sense. Everything in it is all junk, ridiculous, outright rubbish. Now, you heard everything Dad said. He meant every bit of it. Every word. And I am no longer comfortable with the tension that is mounting on the company. It is not conducive for business. Now, between you and I, you know that all the names on that list are fake names, ghost names, ghost workers, stage managed. You know that? I want you to tell me the truth. Yes, they are all ghost names. I'm hoping to get some money back from Sapphire. You're hoping to get some money from Sapphire, right? Yes. Okay, let's say how much money are we expecting? Chancin, can I tell you something? Can I can I confide in you? Of course. Okay. I I actually loaned some money to a friend of mine who went to China. Jesus Christ, come on. Richard, how could you do anything like that? How could you use money meant for business to loan to somebody? Chancin, please. Do anything you can to cover me up. And before that gives me time to sort myself out and bring back the money, please. Okay, 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 I'll do my best. Now, what do we do about salary? That is being old workers. I mean, how do I present the account? Okay. You see, first thing tomorrow morning, I, I'll transfer some money to your account. Okay. Use it to offset the wages of the staff. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Maybe you tell that 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 I, that I transferred some money into your account, okay? And and give me some weeks so that I can sort things out and and bring back the money. Just in peace. Promise me you're going to do this for me. Okay. It's all right. I hear about Tiapa. I think we should go to Calabar. What is it? 
Abuja is cool and Kawaba is not bad. Okay. So you can go to both instead. So how is that Mr. Jukri brother plays coping with getting inherited from you? You see, I rather don't want to start a problem. By the time he wakes up tomorrow morning, he's going to realize that he's good for himself. So let us not talk about that. Let's just have one more celebration. This uh, vacation thing is a little bit too easy. Oh, don't worry. If you're not comfortable with it, we can always move it forward. You know, I just thought after your hectic schedule at the office, you need a break. So that's why I fixed it. Moreover, the children's vacation is happening almost at the same time. Yeah. Well, I may have to take my own vacation earlier in the year. You, Lucy, and uh, the kids can go on and enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Honey, you know that's not going to be possible. It's not the same without you. So mm -hmm. it's not, that's not even working out at all. Well, I'll think about it. Let me see what I can work. Go there, go. I mean, they say 152 million naira paid in terms of credit and a debit of close to 32 million naira unpaid. What is this paid and unpaid? By that I mean that the monies paid in to the company's account as draft and monies yet to be paid. Mm. And have you confirmed with the bank? Yes, sir, I have done that. Mm. What about um, the suppliers that he claims to have paid for? Have you called the suppliers to confirm? Oh, yes, that I, I actually have done that. But that it would be much better if you had a detailed study of this to find out things for yourself. I think the only stupid thing he did was just to like increase his salary by 50%, which is outrageous if you ask me that. John, are you sure you know what you're doing? Of course, lady. Not 
been able to pay the salaries for the last three months. Uh, Daddy, to be candid, I didn't give it a moment's thought. But I have good news. And the good news that is that uh, members of Starwood's salary have not been paid. Will be paid tomorrow. I'm so glued to thought because I don't see any solution to this our deplorable situation. What is it? Is it about the recapitalization going on in the banking sector? Yes. I thought you said Chief Melford was going to do something about it. That is the problem. Chief Melford was in the plane that crashed yesterday. Oh dear. Oh my god. Oh honey, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I I don't know what to say. I, honestly, I... I thought this was going to be the best time to break this good news to you and now 
Now this. What goodness? I don't think this is even the best time to say it because look at you. I, I don't know what to say. I don't know. You're so worked up. You've not said anything. Okay. I was at the doctor's yesterday. Test the result. Uh, yes. Are you sure about that? <laughs> yeah, oh, we're my. expecting. Oh, um, what, honey? We didn't plan for this. You know, I was always worried about you. Go in there, pack our things. I have to go to the house now because I, I, I've got some documents that I forgot. Hmm? Believe me and trust me, I'm going to come back in a jiffy. Hmm? Okay, in that case, you meet me up at the airport. That's my baby. Mm -hmm.
Good evening, Dad. Have you seen your brother? No, we saw him in the office. I don't think he's looking for me. Mm. Yes. I saw the account you prepared. Now, why haven't you paid the salaries yet? Dad, 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 you, you, you asked me to relinquish my position, and I did. I don't think I'm in a better position to answer this question. And Dad, uh, for your information, I have handed over everything to him, including the money in the bank. But, Dad, I, I, I will advise you keep your eyes on him. Watch his excesses. I think he has his eyes on money. Dad, remember he has a personal establishment. So you, you really have to watch on him. Sorry, Dad. Dark in complexion. Okay, Abby. Uh, yes, yes, yes. This is her dad. She's not left this To where? Um, she didn't mention to me, but for the group of things, it's like they are going to my mother. Jesus. Or something, because they left with some bags. Jesus. Is anything the matter? Oh, oh no. Uh, no, no, no. Why not come home? Uh, okay, I'll do just that. Uh, I don't have uh, the phone. I save her number. Do you perchance have her number? Yeah, It's not available. Let me just try it. Oh. Same thing. You know what? Uh, oh, thank you so much. Oh, okay, well, thank you so much. God, what is happening to me? If I could be this stupid, Richard has deceived me. This is the dumbest thing I've ever done in my life. 
How do I get to make God believe in me again? I have deceived him. I also deceived myself. Richard made me believe that he would bring some money to pay our workers, but now he's nowhere to be found. What do I tell Daddy? God, please help me out of this deadly trap that I'm walking into blindly, hoping that I'm saving my own brother. I should have confirmed these accounts first before presenting this account to him. No, no. I just have to do something just to save my head. Darling, you should have told me. But darling, I didn't want to upset you. I keep hoping that things would normalize, but it keeps moving from bad to worse. Right now, we have exhausted our treasury. We're just selling off assets now to pay off the depositors. What is NDIC doing about it? What about the insurers? I don't have any idea. Maybe they are waiting for the bank to put properly so that they can come in, sell off our properties to pay off the depositors. It's ridiculous. So you mean the banks are grinding? There are no new accounts? New accounts? No new accounts at all. When we have trouble today controlling the aggressive depositors who are ready to make trouble, today more policemen we are invited to help check in the situation, which was chaotic. Uh, you know, John, I have not seen uh, 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 Richard since yesterday. Daddy, I'm equally surprised that. Uh... I went to his room late last night expecting to see him, but I didn't see him. And there was no sign that probably he traveled? Oh, no, 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 Dad. He stays are still in this room. Uh, I mean, uh, besides, Jennifer confirmed that uh, she actually saw him leave the compound yesterday, but he was not carrying anything. Just had some documents. Yeah. Look, I want you to do something for me. What's that, Dad? I want all the money that we recovered from him, yes, I want them paid into this account. Okay. I want you to do it as soon as possible and call me, okay? I'll do that, Dad. Uh, I have to see the GM Skyland Bank immediately because that's where he lodged all the money we're talking about. Good. good. Uh, Just call me as soon as you get there. I'll do that, Dad. I'll see you later, Dad. Right. And he said I should call you. Yes, he's in respect of what was happening in the bank yesterday when you came. Yes, we discussed about it. Yeah, okay, thank you. Please, uh, can you can you make a call through to uh, the Commissioner of Police? Let us see if there is a way they can handle the situation. Yes, it's becoming more chaotic. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Most of them are coming to withdraw the, the whole of the money from the bank. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Yeah, thank you. Hello, manager. Sir. Yes, sir. The customers are making large withdrawals. What do we do, sir? You have to stop them. Okay? okay? Stop them. Eh? Maximum withdrawal should be 50,000 naira. Tell them something. T tell them we are having problems with our deposit at the central bank, okay? okay thank you. Do that, eh? Uh -huh. Manager. Please, I have called chief, eh? All you have to do is just mind your own set, okay? Chief is already want to see you. He's very persistent. Uh, tell him I cannot be reached right now, okay? Right. Yes. 
Onye Best, a movie production outfit, is back with a multi-million movie project, starring almost all the big faces in the Nigerian movie industry. Skyland Bank shut down. Here are the main stories. The Skyland Bank has been closed down owing to the inability of the bank to meet up with the central bank 25 billion capitalization fund. The Inspector General of Police has warned that all the smugglers in the Nigerian Port Authority should desist from this act or face the world.
baby, what's wrong? What's the matter? The bank promises have been sealed off. Just like that? Just like that. Even most of my colleagues we are taken away today in security cars by the EFCC officials. To where? Some said Abuja, some said uh, Panti. I can't really say for sure. What is happening to us? Why is this happening to us now, Greg? For goodness sake, what have we done? What is it? What's happening? It's okay, it's okay, honey. I'm sorry I broke the news this way, but I couldn't help it. Oh, the baby. Maybe it's a boy. You know, they used to say that uh, male kids often come with difficulties. Um, remember when we had Sissy? Greg, this is an old superstitious belief. Please, it's not helping matters right now. It's okay. It's not it's helping. Okay. It's okay, please. Oh. See, we don't need to be hard on ourselves. We need to be strong for each other. We need to be strong. Banks are closing down. We're running out of cash very fast. That's the situation. You don't mean it. <sighs> um, but your husband has friends, colleagues, even family. I, you mean they are not doing anything to help him out so that you can go on this vacation? Carol, then, you seem to forget that. Situation like this comes up in people's life. People are never there to help you. You're practically alone. Right about now, the only money that we have in our savings is the money we have to use to finish up the building that's already on ground. We can't afford to live in this kind of place anymore. It's luxury. We can't afford it. Oh gosh. What a pity. It is. Oh, pity, really. Once I live here, I am going to get an M office. To book for a flight for my family. You deserve it, my dear. But I wish we could have come together. It's okay, darling. You deserve it. Lucky you. Just have fun, okay? Have fun. After all the hard work, you need the vacation. Don't worry. Oh. Don't worry about it. it I wish we had been together. <laughs> I wish the same so too, but it's not happening, is it? Yes, I think it's easy, okay? This is very uncalled for, please. I know you want me to book with the house, but I'm asking you for some more days just to enable me to secure another apartment. Greg, I didn't want you to leave. You told me that you are building your own house, that you will soon move out, and I've given you enough time. Yes, I know. But that was before my contractor absconded with the money I gave to him to build my new house with. Without doing anything. Please, you have to do something for me this time. I have not owed you before, have I? I know that I have lost my job, but I believe that's not the end of the world for me. Please. Greg, I've given you enough time. And I've collected money from another tenant who is on my neck. So please, you just have to leave. Greg, seven days, or I'll call my boys to come and move out your properties.
you know the worth of this car. If not for the prevailing circumstances, I, I wouldn't even take 1.5 million naira for this car. Oga, okay, people have been coming. They've been pricing the car, but the price you said is on the high side. It's not my fault. How much are they pricing? Oh, 400, 450. The highest bid is 550. 45, what? Oh, no, 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 no. There's no way I can sell it that price. See, I bought this car brand new six months ago. And I know how much I bought it for. Oga, okay, if you need your cash, if you need cash right now, by today, tomorrow, I'll get in touch with the buyers. Then we can settle the this once and for all. No, not at that price. This accommodation thing is trying to push me to the wall. Okay, you know what? Another person comes. Just, 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 just tell the guy. No, no problem. No problem. I am calling. Hey, car wash. Hey, where that boy? Where they wash food? Come, 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 come. See, see, see. see. I felt hot when my bank went down the drain. Little did I know that the world was crumbling upon me. I lost my job and now my contractor has absconded with my whooping sum of 10 million naira which I gave him for the completion of my new building plan. These kids, their future has been tampered with. And my wife. Honey? Honey? I'm, I'm fine. You are it again. I'm fine. Okay. Honey, I told you I'm fine. Huh? I'm fine. Don't be too hard on yourself. Okay? This is only going to last for just a short while. Just doing my best. So that there are situations that you can't control. It's alright. Okay. Are you sure? I'm fine. Honestly. Honestly. I promise it's gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. Go eat with the kids. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's so 
unfortunate the way that he lived. But whatever led to his death was circumstantial. I did what I did just because I, I wanted to save my brother who has constantly been seen as a black sheep of the family. Is that a crime? Is that a crime for me to be there for your own brother? Jenny, you know to all that I was daddy's favorite child, not my own making. You also know to all that Richard has never been comfortable with that. He's always been jealous of it. That was why when it came to the family business, I opted out. I clearly told daddy that I didn't want to be part of us in the family business. I carved out a niche for myself, set up my own business. Because I knew that if it got into the family business, it would be too devastating. And I tried as possible to win my brother over to that. This is what I get. This is how Richard beat me back. restaurant and eat out. Mm -mm. At least that will weather our storm. No, 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 no. There's a lot we have to do with this money. 
We need to think about the kids. We need to think about the home. We have to buy food stuff for the home, for the kitchen, for... Please, 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 darling, do me this favor. It's been long, okay? See, my friend promised me to secure this job for me. By this time next month, oh God knows, I'll be on top again. Please. All I need from you is just <clears throat> keep giving me the luck. Huh? Okay, if you say so, but... Alright. So... Uh, do you have any food in the house? Of course, always. Oh, I am hungry. Okay, I'm coming. Excuse me, sir. Sorry, you are great. It will, it, it will, right? Oh, yes, but the place doesn't clean. Yeah, sure, sure. I'm, I'm younger brother. I'm Taco, younger brother to German IMB. Oh, Taco? Yeah. How are you? I'm very fine. How's your brother? I'm very fine. This is my apologies, sir. It's been a long time. Yeah. How, how's German? Hopefully, this is my wife. So, this is the cousin to uh, Adamola. Chief IMB. My pleasure. Uh, thank you very much. Can I see previous sir? <laughs> you can go on and tell me whatever it is now. She's family. I'm sorry we heard what happened to you. And you are truly sorry. Sir, please, um, can I have your CV now? Because my uncle has been looking for you. I can submit it for you, I mean, to his office. I mean, you can get a job. Okay, you, you mean, you mean you people need my CV? Yeah. Oh, darling. Okay, can you give me just three, three, four minutes? I, I, my house is nearby. I'll just take a text to that place and um, get it for you. You have to be fast because you'll be traveling as early as five o'clock tomorrow morning. I'll get it right now, okay, okay. Eh? Okay. darling. Please, let me go and get the CV. Okay, okay, okay. Please, okay. Don't be long. Okay, my dear. I'm waiting for you. Thank you so much. Yes, okay. Thank you. Yes, okay. okay. I want you to take me to Alaruji Street. Okay. 500. I'll get back in and take 300. Pay for? Three. Okay, enter. Okay, thank you.
He's suffering from contusion and he has relapsed into temporal coma. Obviously, he is an accident victim with a serious head injury. Ma, should I send the drip? Immediately. We have to ensure he does not go into serious coma. When he regains consciousness, we can then get his identity. So let's see the man of his life first, okay? Okay, ma. If I tell you I'm not confused right now, you know that I'm joking. I want to see if I can. I don't know what to do. But my dear, you don't have to be confused, okay? When I get home, I'll talk to my husband. I think he has some good detective that he can contact. This entrance. Uh, may we know your name, sir? What entrance? Sir, how did you sustain the head injury? I just, I just felt it now. Please, uh, we would like to reach your family. I mean, your uh, family member, relations. Or uh, do you have any name, address? I don't know what you're talking about. We have a very serious case on our hands now. He's suffering from memory loss. If he does not recover his memory, there's nothing we can do than treat his physical wound. Memory loss? Yes. Doctor, that means we can't get his identity. Please, sir. Do you have anything for us to identify you? Do you have business card, phone number, whatever? Jesus Christ. Are you married? Mar married? I don't know what you're talking about. By the way, I, I heard you are back rolling the bills. Yes, but sir, he doesn't have anywhere to go to. No one to take care of him. And he doesn't even have a name. Sir, but can we refer him to the teaching hospital? We have done our best for him. We don't have to let him go. Okay, sir. How else can I help Patrick? I can't take him to my house. That would be very silly. I think I'll just give him little money and refer him to Dr. Okafo. That is what I must do. Yeah. Madam, are you sure you're telling me the truth that you did not have quarrel with him? How about officer? We didn't have any quarrel. If we had any quarrel, what would I hide it from you? I've told you exactly what happened. Do you know any of his girlfriend or his girlfriends? Officer, my husband never kept any girlfriend. He never. Madam, leave that aspect to me. You see, I'm a man. I advise you to calm down. Well, I have to take my leave. If there's anything you want me to know, don't hesitate to come to the police station and give me some information. 
Missing, missing, missing. This information is coming to you from Broad Television Station. This man whose picture appears on the screen has been declared missing for two months now. He speaks English fluently. He is tall and fair in complexion. If you have any useful information about him, please contact the nearest police station or call this number on the screen. Thank you and stay tuned for further information. We've made a, a thorough search. We went with as far as checking the mortuaries and some bushes around. There was no sign of him or the cops. Are you sure he didn't travel out of town? No. He traveled. He wasn't making any plans to travel either. Well, as we all know, Craig is a learned man. I think you should make an arrangement to publicize it in the newspaper. Exactly. That might give us a better result. Exactly. The Almighty God will protect him wherever he is. Take it easy. Nothing will happen to him. Just take it easy. Stop. That's very nice. Go to the uh, Please, I've come to see uh, Dr. Joseph Okafo. I don't know if he's in. Yes, sir, he's in. Okay. Are you on appointment, sir? Yes. Uh, no, I was directed by uh, Dr. Selin to see him. What is your name, sir? My name is uh, Marshall. Okay, let me know. Yeah, sit down, sit down. Oh. Oh. You must be Dr. Joseph Okafor. Yes, I am. Okay. Um, Mr. Patrick? Yes, sir. Well, um, Dr. Selling, my colleague, told me about you. She said you're suffering from um, memory loss. Yes, doctor. Well, um, let's start this way. Who are you? Oh. Well, Doctor, I can say that I, I'm a man picked from the gate of the hospital with an injury on the head. I was uh, treated and uh, discharged. My name is Patrick, and uh, since then I've been roaming the street without even remembering anything concerning my past. Mr. Patrick, okay. if you say you cannot remember your past, how then did you remember your name? Mm -hmm. That name was given to me by Dr. Selling. Mm, Mr. Patrick, we don't really have a definite cure for your ailment. Had it been we know who you were before you came here you know we, we would have taken you to the places you know you have gone to to meet the people you knew and all that uh, that way it will aid you recall your past memories i hope you understand Dr. Police, uh, is it going to take long before i regain this memory of loss 
Well, we, we can't say for sure, but it would be well. Hmm? Well, if you excuse me, I'm busy. Hmm? I'm going to the place now. Let me get this. Ah, thank God. <laughs> thank God. Okay, I did look for work. I did look for work. I did look where I go. They work. Make I achieve my daily bread. Put it now. Grab one and they wash, wash cars. You did look for work. Yes, sir. Yes, it is. You did look for work. Okay, I no mind my dressing. This clothes where you see, Nana. I beg. I beg, sir. I won't work. Don't mind my dressing. Someone like you, no to work here. You understand me? I look, look to work. Okay, I fit to work. Nobody to wash cars. The only thing we say, God will you the plead. You understand know saying? Uh, I think give you try here. Thank you, sir. So where do we need? But if you don't want I will give you try here. You understand me? If you're not lazy, you will get money. But if you're lazy, you will die for hunger. As you can see, I get many cars. Cars they come here all the time. But we don't need lazy people here. I know they're lazy at all. Good. So where do you go from you say, you know, in any place where you did, before I employ you, I get to give you my rules and regulations here. You understand what I'm saying now? Rule number one, if you really want to work here, no stealing. You understand what I'm saying? When I mean no stealing is that if any customer complain, say in pin, just pin lost for in car, now Pantia the carry go direct. Because many boys don't steal a lot of things. They say, take my head. You know what I'm saying? Number two, rule number two. This one I can't wash. This is the I can't wash. Nobody run an Iraq. Nobody they fight here. You know what I'm saying? So if you know if you good those are, you go begin go back. That is rule number two. No fighting. Rule number three. You no know one gossip as here. People wear their mouth they leak. Pa, 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 pa. So if you know say. I gossip, now I push you where you did before you come here. You go so your mother, really won't work here. You know what I'm saying now? Good. And rule number four every place you go for this work, get class by class. Some boys, some of my boys here, they don't there four years. So as you get there now, they know be a mate. You get to respect them. I hope you're understanding me. You get to respect them. Now, big boy, be now, so I don't need to talk much. I hope you're understanding me. Yes, sir. Good. So if really you are ready to abide to my rules, no, I will allow you work. I will respect them. I will maintain. Say your name now with me. My name is Napa. No, no problem. Let's go to the door. What do you have to say? You will come tomorrow. Okay. Let's try to start the end. No, 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 no. You just come. Okay? I will make your account for you. When they come tomorrow, at least, we have to show you. Come here. Come by 7. Okay? I will come, sir. I will come. I'm expecting you. No problem.
to drive. Mm. So as you find rich like this, you know, you know something drive. So the grammar way the guy can rise this car wash. Now up on a be waste. Eh? Please if you want teach me, teach me. If you teach me, you want to teach me. Grammar. Grammar not teach you where to be dashboard. See, if one if one if you want to learn how to drive, this is this one I see. Mm. You something if one drive, maybe the whole steering like him like him beside. Who steering like man for girls for road. Mm. Then that one I that uh, gear, that one I gave it that. Why not automatic gear? Hold up. Eh? Wait a moment. We are happy with it. I'm going to be here. Now we are at a tissue penalty. I had it before you. Eh? Hey, I know your problem. I'm going to have a problem. Don't you? Come out. Come on, come on. I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. Honestly, it is good to just work on time. So you know that someone look me. Yeah. Someone would say be lazy, lazy Ajebo. Oh, I don't be lazy man at all. Huh? You don't, don't, no, you don't know say no food for lazy man. You just be like that. Even time. that time why I come for your office, uh -huh. and really why they ask me for work. You yeah. say I be your boy. Say see, as this one where you dress, I then say don't mind my dress. Oh, I be do khaki. You find that it's a bit work. Husband leave her like this. Dump out, lock up. Eh? That spirit. Nobody's here in the game. Such a beautiful man. Oh, what are you talking about? Hey! That man is a fool. Hey! Pato! Come now, nah. you won't fool him. You won't fool him. Nah, come. See woman, I say. Come, 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 come. Make the girls stand in the yard. Hey! Come now! Hey, oh, I can help your husband. Ah, uh, come. Only the woman where the husband is now. You know. All these ones where they pass here now, you don't see them. You go be married. See another one now. That one. Is you go be married now. You don't marry before. You have to produce our brother. You have used him for ritual and made the world believe he has abandoned his family. You have to produce him or else you will receive fire on your head. Useless woman. It is an aberration that we should be talking about, Greg. As if it's a little boy that cannot find his way home. Sister Tora, Brother Ben, I know Auntie Ellie cannot do such a thing. Maybe something has happened to Brother Greg. Will you shut up, senior advocate? Who asked you to talk? See, it is a well concocted evil plan. This is the result. In fact, you two will get missing. No wonder she can't even walk, waiting to inherit all the property. Come and inherit! I will make sure you vomit everything I've ever stolen in this house. Sister, why could you talk like this? I mean, you both 
decided that I should stay home after the delicate birth of our last child. Why are you saying all those wicked things to me? You are a bloody liar! You know you brainwashed him. Delicate and you are pregnant again. Useless woman. All right. The family's position is clear on this. He must be found. Of course. So we have just started with you until we get to the root of the matter in respect of his whereabouts. We are making publication and announcements in all the media. And we are involving the police. And of course, there will be other measures. Of course. This is just the beginning. Let us go. to inform you that I have sold this house and that a new landlord will be coming in by the weekend to occupy this place. Landlord, he didn't, he didn't tell us on time. No quick notice, nothing. What am, I, what am I supposed to do? I don't have to consult you before I do anything with my property. Oh, Jesus. And by the way, your, your husband did not pay me for agency and agreement. This is your balance. Look, Landlord, I will advise please. you that you leave this place Landlord, before weekend. Where will I go to with my children? My husband is not around. Where do I go to? I'm not working. I'm pregnant. Please, landlord, please. That is not my business. The new owner is the chairman of the area boys. So I will advise you, you pack out before weekend. Please, landlord, where am I going to go to with my children? I'm pregnant. Landlord, please. Landlord, please help me. Overload. Ah. <laughs> but men, men are so wicked. Madam, must you work? Yes, madam, I have to. Ah. I need the money. I need. I, I have bills to sort out. I've got the children to take care of. I've got my antenna to go for. I've got bills to pay. I need it. Okay, okay. I don't mind, madam. I, I, I can do anything. I could take stocks in this shop. I could. I could clean. Anything you want me to do. You have to work at all. It has to be a very light, very light job that cannot stress you at all. You know? Anyway, do you know what will happen? Why can't you work for me for a long time? As you can see, the shop is very big and I want to work here. You know? For a long time. Thank you. Any, anything you want me to do, I'll do it. Can okay. I start now? When, when do you want me to no, start? No, no, no. You can come back. Okay. You can come back. So, discuss the details. Okay. Right? Okay. Thank you. 
You're a very neat person. <laughs> Thank when you. When I came to the shop, everything is well organized. The voucher, the stocks. Oh, you're a very neat person. Thank you very much. If it is all these young girls, what they know is phone calls, boyfriend, all these stupid behaviors. Oh, keep it up. How is your children? They are fine. Thank you, madam. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. All right, then we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Why is this place under lock and key now? It's like nobody's sleeping. What? Excuse me, brother. Excuse me, sir. Good day. Please, uh, do you know about uh, people that are living here? Okay, this particular house. Yes, yes. The house has been sold. Hey, sold? Yes. Uh, please, when was that? Not long ago. What of uh, the people that lived here? I mean. Everybody packed out. Packed out? Yes. Uh, please, what of uh, the one woman, one that uh, Mrs. Uh, Helen, Helen Edward. Edward? Okay, Craig's wife. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. yes. Oh, she has packed out. Hey! Packed out? Yes. Is, uh, do you know where she has packed to? Oh. And she didn't even tell us. I said it. I, I knew it. This woman has an ace up her sleeve. Ah, what is wrong with She's a very mean woman. She didn't even inform anybody. Oh my God. No wonder. No wonder. Please, let, 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 let's just walk down. Ask questions now. Hey, where do we start from? I don't know. All I really desire. All I really want is for us to get married. I want to make you my missing wife. Angela, please. Will you be my wife? Uh, please, please, Kelvin. Just, just get up, okay? Please. I beg you in God's name, get up. I mean, how on earth do you expect me to accept your proposal when we barely know ourselves for just a month. <laughs> it doesn't really make sense, Kelvin. You know what? Let's just try and give ourselves some time, you know, to understand ourselves and know each other. Please. So what about a proposal? What proposal? The proposal I dropped with you last week. Um, oh yeah, the proposal. Um, if you don't mind, what's in it again? It's about the five hectares of land at Amor Dolphin. If you can buy the land, I can develop into a luxury estate for you. Do you know I did civil engineering school? Yeah, so. I, I know that, but um, Kelvin, you know, I would have loved to accept your proposal and all, but my father left a lot of businesses for me to handle, you know. So um, maybe we'll just leave that for later. Like maybe some other time I'll, I'll give it a thought. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Patrick, you're welcome. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, doctor. I'm fine. And where have you been? <laughs> well, doctor, I've been around. Okay. I've been around. Well, doctor, I've come to see you for two reasons. One is to tell you that I've found a job. That's nice. That's interesting. What kind of job is that? Um, well, taxi driving. Patrick, but that job is not good enough for a person like you. But it can also put food on my table. Uh, secondly, I have also come to say thank you for all the good things that you did for me while in the hospital. It is not easy. You took care of me and you paid my hospital bill. 
that is why I said I should seize this opportunity to ask you for the privilege of taking you out for a lunch. For lunch? Yes. <laughs> Patrick, where did you get the money? And you know I'm a very busy person. I know, I know. I'm insisting now. I'm insisting. Because if you could go a long way of taking care of my hospital bill, which was not easy at all. And you took care of me like a brother. So please, I want you to give me that privilege. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Patrick, your English is so good. You're so articulate. You must be a graduate, a professional. Patrick, there's this thing going on between us. Something I can't, I can't really figure out. But well, that makes it better for us. Let me figure myself out. There's this thing that happened to me. Something. Something I can't. Something I can't say. Well, I understand what you mean. But see, I, I can't really so sure of myself. I don't even know if I have a wife. Nice man. He's so young and handsome. There is this thing about him. Something I I can't yet fathom. He has a good heart. Not every man will come back to thank you for your favor you do to them. He's so nice. I'm beginning to fall. Here I go again. I think I'm being hasty again. I will need to make him get back to his real self. Who knows, maybe he's even married with kids. He looks it. Well, first thing first, I'll get him okay. Contributions to the children. I mean, they're upkeep. In here is one million naira check. I hope it will do. One million naira. 
Thank you very much, ma. We are grateful for your kindness. This will go a long way to ease what children are going through. And some of our challenges in the home. May God bless you. And bless you too. We are most grateful. May God bless you, mother. It's well, you can now go. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. It is well. Of course it is well. When they are feeling far from people like you. So you exactly think the money gets to those children. It's only a tiny little fraction of that money that ever gets to those children. Do you even see those women and the way they were looking when you gave them the money? Kelvin. You, you need to visit the home. So, so you could see their commitment. Commitment my foot! What are you talking about? These women gather children and they start making money for themselves. You know what, Kelvin? A laborer deserves his or her wages. Mine is to implement the purpose of Charity Foundation, which I established. Foundation that is more important than the proposal I sent to you last week? What? Just look at me. Are you telling me that those gold diggers are more important than your... What are you even saying? You know what, Kelvin? You know what? I really need to go upstairs and take a nap. Are you walking out on me? Angela! Are you walking out on me? I just did. You what? Angela, come back here! Be surprised to see me after what my father did yesterday. <laughs> Anyways, I I apologize on his behalf. But you know, you shouldn't really blame him because he was just trying to be a businessman. Well, it's quite unfortunate how customers lose their confidence after years of a profitable customership and a mutual confidence. <laughs> yeah, that leaves us the professionals. Uh, in a swim or sink situation. Anyway, thank God you care. I right, come in to say you are sorry. Well, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. But I wouldn't hesitate to lodge it into your back. Oh, that's interesting. Well, um, if you ask me, I will tell you that it is not financially advisable for you to lodge 50 million naira into this bank because of the condition which is a little bit smoky now. Well, I think we should discuss that over dinner. <laughs> what do you think? Dinner? Well, well, I would have loved to, but you see, because of the situation of the bank right now, I don't think I will be able to make a good date. And besides, most of my evening, I spend it together with my wife and kids. Oh. Anyway, but if you don't mind... Here is my card. What's the point? 
problem. You look worried. <sighs> you know, the name keeps ringing a bell as if I've known the name for like a very long time. Do you know, I can't really place it. So what's the name? Mrs. Helen Edwards. You know, Kevin, I, I think, I think she's related to, to this man, Mr. Greg Edwards, the manager to the, the bank manager to the distressed bank my father was banking with. I just want to know if they were related in any way. Greg Edwards. Can I see that card? Yeah, sure. You know, I, I thought I could just... Kelvin. What did you just do? I pulled the card, of course. What do you think? What's wrong with you? I've been keeping up with the rubbish for so long. And now you're a dating man behind me? How dare you? How dare you? Jesus. You slapped me and I would do it again! Angela, are you out of your mind? How dare you slap me? Do you know what? Leave my house this minute! I should leave your house. <laughs> you might really think I'm kidding here or as if I don't know what I'm saying, right? That's very nice of you. Do you know something? There are few people who are trying to help. Yes, hello? Yes, come in. Yes, I was saying, that's nice of you, okay? I will tell Helen Edward, okay? She will be so happy. She will be so, so happy. Come on, girl, that's nice of you. Man, I'm surprised, you know? Okay, I will, I will, I will call you. I have a patient here, okay? Okay, see ya. Bye. Please, 
My name is not uh, Gregory Edwards. My name is Patrick. It's me. Oh, okay, sir. I now understand. Uh, sir, please, I didn't go to work today. I packed my taxi because uh, I was having a headache. I mean, I am favorite. Chief Gauzier, the importer, the exporter at Silver Line Bank. Why are you looking so terrible and staring at me this way? Sir? I am your main man, Gauzi Dollar. Are you crazy or what? I don't understand. I have to go. Excuse me. Come. I hate all. I hate how, what happened in Silver Line. Is this as, as a result of that that you are looking this way? Come, I will help you. I've got some money. Gauzy dollar. But I don't know you, sir. But I know you. You will soon know me. Don't worry. Come. I say, come, Greg. Has anything come over you? Gregory! Come. I say, come! He's recovering. How is business? Mm, business is not. Oh, what of your health? I'm okay. The doctor says by tomorrow I should be able to go to bed. Oh, I thank God. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait to go with that chill girl. Eh? <laughs> have you not missed me? Missed mm -hmm. you. So what have you been doing with us? Go back to you. <laughs> There's this favor I don't know if you'd want to do for me. What is it, Doctor? Do you know the woman that died in this hospital while delivering? Mrs. Helen Edward. <sighs> My friend Angela wants to take care of her kids, wants to adopt her kids. That's good. So and she said she needed a nurse that will help her take care of her kids. I don't know if it would be of help to her. I wouldn't mind. And she said she would pay the nurse handsomely. Is that a yes? Yes, ma'am. Okay, you get to meet her, okay? Thank you, Doctor. Okay. I am Patrick. I am also Gregory. I am a taxi driver. I was a bank executive. I have friends in Selin, Chief and Kenneth. Selin and Kenneth is my present. Chief is from my past, which still remains hazy. Oh my God. I just wish my mind could open more of these pages of the closed book called My Past. God, please. 
help me. Help me on this. Please. Angie, do you think it's a wise decision adopting those kids? My dear, trust me, it is a wise decision. All I'm waiting for is for my lawyer to finish up with the paperwork then. I'll adopt the children and take care of them and love them, that's all. I know. And you see, you're, you're so young, single and beautiful. And I know one day you'll be getting married. What if the man would not accept those children? Then that man is not the right man. It's as simple as that. I hope you know what you're doing. Of course I know what I'm doing. Please, let's just drop this case, okay? So, what do I give you? What do I offer you? Okay. Are you sure? Oh, you're watching your way. <laughs> <laughs> not so okay. okay. First, mom also taught us that Life is a teacher. Anyone old or young is a student. That if you don't work at the teacher will fail. You know, that's true. Because children who work hard become great adults. First, mommy also said, we are taught by what we do, what you said, and the friends we keep. She also said that we should never waste food or anything. That if we waste people's things, we also waste your own because to become an addict. Wow! It seems as if first mommy thought you so much. Yes. But you know what, kids? I am going to teach you some more. You know what? You guys will go upstairs, take your bath, and go to bed. Okay? Okay. Ma. Um, you make sure you take the kids upstairs, make sure they take their bath and put them to bed. Okay? Okay, Mama. So what about Richie? He's already sleeping. Go on. I'll join you guys later, okay? Okay, Ma. Be good, kids. You are Angela. Yes. How is it? Daddy! Bibi! What are you doing here? Daddy, we have been searching all over for you. Where were you? Where is mommy? Sis is not there. Mommy died when she was giving that to each But this is our new mommy. Are you telling me that she has been taking care of you since mommy died? Yes. 